Hello, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to the House of European Football here in Nyon for the UEFA Champions League round of 16 draw. The teams in the knockout stages will be looking to battle it out next year to lift this trophy on Saturday, 29th May in Istanbul. Now, there's still a long way to go before they can dream of being victorious in the Atatürk Olympic Stadium. In a few minutes' time, the clubs left in the draw will find out who they will be playing in the round of 16 as they start out in earnest on the road to Istanbul. However, let's take a moment to reflect on some of the amazing achievements we have witnessed over the last couple of months during the group stage. Just a couple of weeks ago, we saw Cristiano Ronaldo score his 750th career goal for club and country against Dinamo Kiev. Borussia Dortmund's Yusufa Mukoko became the youngest ever player to feature in a UEFA Champions League match against FC Zenit. He was aged 16 years and 18 days when he came on the pitch. At the other end of the spectrum, as far as age is concerned, Mircea Lucescu became the oldest manager to ever take charge of a match in the UEFA Champions League on match day one, aged 75 years and 83 days. We have seen plenty of goals, 289 in 96 games, which averages out to just about three goals per match. Current holders Bayern Munich continue their imperious form, netting 18 goals and finished as the leading goal scorers following the conclusion of the group stage. I could go on and on, but rather than hearing from me, let's have a look back at some of the best moments so far from the teams who have qualified for the round of 16. Some fantastic footage there from what was an intense group stage. The excitement levels will remain high when the knockout phase begins on February. We're certain of that. But who will take on who? That's what we'll find out very shortly. Time to invite on stage the man who will be the master of the draw proceedings, the UEFA Deputy General Secretary, Giorgio Marchetti. Hey, Giorgio. Hello, Pedro. Thank you, Pedro, and uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome from Neon, and best wishes from our president, Alexander Cheferin. Congratulations to the 16 teams uh, who have qualified for this round. Unfortunately, in just the last hour, we received the sad news that uh, Gerard Rouillet has passed away. 
He greatly contributed to European football managing clubs like uh, Paris Saint-Germain, Liverpool, Lyon, beside the French national team. Our thoughts are with his family and the whole of French football during these difficult times. For the moment, uh, our draw remains an online event, as in the current situation, we cannot invite the delegations of the clubs here with us. Let's hope that as from the quarterfinals, we can open again our auditorium and have the pleasure to have you here. Since August, when football resumed, UEFA has played around 1,000 matches in all its different competitions. Around 180 of these games have been played in the UEFA Champions League. Overall, more than 110,000 COVID tests have been taken by players and officials, of which just 1% have returned positive results. We can only be proud of the achievements produced by these extraordinary efforts. With the group stage <clears throat> only starting in October, we have been forced to fit six match days into the last couple of months, a short but intense period during which we have witnessed great football, many goals and some amazing feats. Special congratulations to Borussia Mönchengladbach, who have qualified for the round of 16 for the first time. The joy and emotion on the faces of the players when they realized they had qualified for the knockout stages will live long in the memory. SS Lazio also make a welcome return, having made it through to this stage of the competition for the first time in two decades. While we often speak about the goal scoring feats, it is important to recognize the contribution made at the other end of the pitch. Manchester City conceded just once in their six group games in the 3 1 opening match day win against FC Porto. Incidentally, these would be the final goals that either Manchester City or FC Porto would concede, with both teams keeping five clean sheets respectively in their remaining five group games. And now I would like to welcome a player who will assist with today's draw and was certainly more comfortable with scoring goals than defending them. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage the special guest for today's draw, Stefan Chapuisat. Salut, Stefan. Bonjour. Um, it's been a couple of intense months in the Champions League so far. Uh, what are some of the highlights for you from the matches you've watched? J'ai vu beaucoup de bons matchs. C'était Dans certains groupes très serrés, mais à la fin, je trouve que les grandes équipes ont passé l'épaule au dernier moment, certains, mais il n'y a pas vraiment pour moi de grosses, grosses surprises. So Stéphane said he watched a lot of fantastic games and uh, there was a lot of close competition, but no big surprises. Most of the big teams, even if it was at the last moment, were able to qualify for the next round. Um, your former team, with whom you won this competition in 1997, Borussia Dortmund, have had some great young players, uh, a lot of youth players in the competition so far. Looking at some of the young crop of uh, young stars across Europe, uh, what are some of them that have stood out for you? Bon, c'est sûr, euh, comme ancien attaquant, j'ai trouvé Alan très impressionnant. Et euh, depuis qu'il est à Dortmund, je trouve qu'il a fait des sacrés progrès. Il a montré ça au top niveau et je crois que c'est vraiment le joueur qui m'a vraiment beaucoup plu. So Stéphane said that he highlights the the, the fantastic performances of uh, Haaland uh, from uh, Borussia Dortmund, also because he was a striker, also played at Dortmund like, like Stefan, but he's uh, really progressing and uh, maturing uh, in, in European football and in this competition as well. Uh, finally, um, you know what it takes to win this trophy. German teams are in fine form. Bayern won it last year. They had a great group stage again. Four German teams progressing to the round of 16. Um, who do you think can, can challenge Bayern or can Bayern uh, be the favorites again to, to lift the trophy, just like they did in, in Lisbon? Moi, je pense que Bayern, pour moi, est un très grand favori. Ils, ils ont gagné l'année passée. Ils sont vraiment une super équipe. Mais c'est clair qu'il y a beaucoup de choses qui peuvent encore se passer avec le nombre de matchs, c'est raccourci. Je pense qu'ils sont favoris, mais il y a des grosses équipes qui vont tout faire pour gagner 
oui. cette coupe. Oui, je suis sûr. Donc, Stéphane dit qu'il pense que Bayern est definitely l'un des favoris. But uh, since the competition, especially this year, is so intense, so many matches happening all the time with a shorter time period, anything can happen. There are a lot of big teams who, uh, who are looking to lift this trophy in Istanbul <coughs> as well. Stefan, uh, you're going to help us out with the draw. Uh, the man leading it is Giorgio. Giorgio, back over to you. We are nearly ready to commence the draw, but before we do so, I need to invite on stage uh, Michael Hesseschwerd, head of club competitions, who will assist in this draw and will first explain uh, the technical procedure. Welcome, Michael. Thank you, Giorgio, and uh, <coughs> good afternoon. <coughs> For today's draw, every group winner will be drawn against the runners-up of a different group and from a different association. The runners-up play the first leg at home. Each of the eight pairings will be determined by drawing one of the runners-up first, then one of the eligible group <coughs> winners. The eight balls containing the names of the runners-up are already placed in one ball in front of Giorgio, <coughs> while the balls containing the names of their opponents are picked from the eight different group winner pots just in front of me. After drawing each runner-up, the computer will indicate which group winners can be drawn in accordance with the condition just explained and the relevant balls will be placed into the other ball every time. Should we have only one team eligible to be drawn against a particular runner-up, there will be no draw and the two teams will be paired directly. This procedure is repeated for all the eight pairings. The round of 16 of the 2020-21 UEFA Champions League will be played on 16th, 17th and 23rd, 24th of February for the first legs and 9th and 10th as well as 16th and 17th of March for the return legs. After the draw and in accordance with the competition regulations, the UEFA administration will determine which matches will be played on Tuesday, which matches on Wednesday, as well as in which week. The result will be announced at around three o'clock this afternoon. Now, all the technical information is given. Let me hand the floor back to Giorgio as we are ready to proceed. Yes, it seems that we are ready to proceed. And uh, just before we do so, let's have a quick read through the <coughs> star list of today. So the clubs which will uh, feature in the round of 16. We start with the group winners, uh, the seeded teams. Uh, FC Bayern München, Borussia Dortmund, Chelsea FC, Juventus, Liverpool FC, Manchester City FC, Paris Saint-Germain and Real Madrid. The runners-up, their opponents will be <coughs> today Atalanta, Atletico Madrid, FC Barcelona, Borussia Mönchengladbach, SS Lazio, RB Leipzig, FC Porto and Sevilla FC. We've done everything to commence the draw. We start the draw. I will uh, draw the runners up and I will provide an assist to score for uh, Stefan Chapuisa, who will be the man who will decide the pairings <laughs> by adding the group winners to each of uh, uh, the runners up. And uh, we start uh, the first pairing with uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach. Borussia Mönchengladbach can be paired with five different opponents, excluding, of course, the two German clubs, Bayern and Borussia, and Real Madrid, who were in the same group. Borussia <coughs> were finalists in 1977, and the period during which they reached five UEFA club competition finals between 73 and 1980. So we op wait for uh, Stefan to open the first ball. Looks a difficult operation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's wait. It gives us a little <laughs> bit of suspense oh. to know <laughs> which team uh, will have to face uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach in this uh, round of 16. Manchester City. So Borussia Mönchengladbach versus uh, Manchester City. The semi-finals of uh, 2016. A team which reached the quarter-finals in five uh, of the last six seasons. So already an exciting clash. But let's see the second one. We start with Lazio. <clears throat> and for Lazio, 
six, <coughs> sorry, five possible opponents. We exclude uh, Borussia Dortmund, the team from the same group, and Juventus, uh, the other, <coughs> other Italian club in this uh, draw. So five opponents are possible for Lazio, who make uh, a very welcome and happy return to the knockout stage. They were absent in knockout stage since 2000, when they reached the quarterfinalists, the quarterfinals, the, their very first appearance. And Lazio had a nice run in the group phase when they were unbeaten this year. FC Bayern München. And now the title holders of uh, FC Bayern. So uh, Lazio is paired uh, with uh, the title holders, six-time winners of FC Bayern. Third pairing, Club Atlético de Madrid. So Atlético de Madrid can also face five of the remaining six opponents. They cannot, of course, be opposed to Real Madrid. Atlético, three times finalists of uh, this competition. And the last time was in, uh, only in 2016, at the San Siro final. At but they are featuring this round of 16 for the uh, seventh time now in eight seasons, so they have become, they become usual clients of this stage. And uh, their opponents uh, this time will be... Chelsea FC. Atletico Madrid versus Chelsea, the winners of uh, 2012. We've completed three of these matches, and uh, we head now to the fourth, which uh, we'll see RB Leipzig. Leipzig semi-finalists, they will be, they will have three possibilities for their opponents. They cannot be drawn against Borussia Dortmund and Paris uh, Saint-Germain. Uh, and uh, one of these three will be the opponents uh, of the uh, semi-finalists of uh, 2020, Leipzig. Liverpool. So, RB Leipzig are drawn against Liverpool FC, the six-time winners and the teams uh, with the most titles, uh, European titles in England. No other club in England has won more than three titles. So, Re Leipzig versus Liverpool. And now, FC Porto. FC Porto, there are no conditions for Porto which can be paired uh, against uh, the four remaining uh, winners. Porto, I remind you, they won twice the UEFA European uh, Cup or, or Champions League in, in 1987 and 2004 and they are participating for the 24th time in the UEFA Champions League. They are only behind Real Madrid and Barcelona in this special list. Juventus. And Porto will play against Juventus. Ju Porto Juventus is the fifth of the pairings. Two-time winners, Juventus. FC Barcelona. Barcelona can be drawn uh, against two of the three teams, uh, not Real Madrid, not in the stage, for the five-time winners of the UEFA Champions League. The team, uh, the first ever team uh, who had uh, two goal scorers aged 17 or under 17 in a UEFA Champions League match. And this happened when Ansu Fati and Pedri struck against Ferenc Baros in this group stage. So for Barcelona, Paris Saint -Germain. we have uh, a Classico, Paris Saint -Germain, Paris FC Barcelona versus Paris Saint-Germain. <laughs> Two left. The 
first team drawn is uh, Sevilla FC. And uh, for Sevilla FC, since there is still Real Madrid, we have only one possibility. This possibility is Borussia Dortmund. So we have uh, the seventh pairing of the round of 16, which is uh, Sevilla versus uh, Borussia Dortmund, uh, the team of, uh, with which uh, Stefan Chapuisat won uh, the Champions League back in 1997. So we have only one pairing to complete uh, before we know everything about uh, the round of 16. And this pairing will start with uh, Atalanta. And Atalanta will uh, face uh, Real Madrid, uh, the uh, all-time record with 13 titles. Uh, so Atalanta, Real Madrid uh, completes uh, the draw. So with this, uh, our draw has come to an end and I uh, will be very glad to ask Pedro what he thinks about these thrilling matches that uh, we've been drawing. Well, uh, I can tell you I was following the, the draw backstage, uh, also the reaction on social media and uh, fans around the world, because obviously this is the top club competition on the planet, not just in Europe, are super excited already about some of these matches. Let's uh, recap the results from the draw of the round of 16 in the UEFA Champions League. So many uh, great ties to look forward to. Uh, Mönchengladbach facing Manchester City, Lazio playing the defending champions Bayern Munich, Atletico Madrid facing off with Chelsea, Leipzig, uh, Liverpool, Porto Juventus in a match that will see Ronaldo going back to his native country, Barcelona are clashing with Paris Saint-Germain, Sevilla taking on Borussia Dortmund and Atalanta battling Real Madrid. I can tell you that the first legs of these ties are scheduled for the 16th, 17th and then 23rd, 24th of February with the return legs also over two dates, or actually over two weeks, four dates, 9th and 10th and then the 16th and 17th of March as well. Now just before we go, a quick reminder to all football fans around the world that the polls remain open for a few more weeks in order to vote for the 2020 UEFA.com Fans Men's Team of the Year and for the very first time as well the UEFA.com Fans Women's Team of the Year as well. Please go to UEFA.com for more details and to vote. That is really all from us here at the House of European Football. It's been a tough year and we would like to take this opportunity to wish all of you a happy holiday season. Let's hope that when the competition returns in February, we will be a step closer to welcoming fans back in greater numbers to the stadiums across the continent. From Stefan, Giorgio, Michael and myself, it's goodbye from Lyon. Take care and all the best. See you soon.